All right, so what's good, YouTube? It's Devin here tuning in here with another video. Before I get into this video, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, right? And then, look, I want to say this real quick. You know, I want to give, you know, a mighty thanks to the Most High for the success the last video did. And also, I want to thank y'all as well for tuning in, locking in, subscribing, liking the video, and sharing it on y'all behalf. You know, because y'all didn't have to do that. The most I didn't have to lead y'all into the ways of doing that. And I really appreciate that, most definitely. So stay locked in. I pray, you know, throughout this journey, y'all stay with me, you know, and we uh, build this base up for the most high. You know, this, uh, you know, the foundation of righteousness. But throughout this video, you know, I want to remind brothers and sisters to always repent daily. I know a lot of us, we don't think about that, but we have to repent daily. We have to ask the Lord for forgiveness every single day because you do not know the time, right? That the Lord would, you know, kind of take you up off the earth because we all got to give up the ghost one day. You know, that is the best life insurance right there, right? That is the best life insurance. I would call that spiritual life insurance by repenting daily, right? Repent daily, right? And, and the reason why I'm making this video is because I just found out one of um, you know, one of my classmates from my old high school, you know, he she passed away. You know, she passed away, and um, I'm not trying to make this a sad video or you know, come on the camera and vent or anything like that. But then again, I'm just trying to remind you to repent daily. Like, you know, ask the Lord for forgiveness. If you're a mother or a father, you know, ask the Lord to forgive your family. You know, it's very important to be on the Lord good side and be on that safe side with the Most High before you give up the ghost. And I'm not saying you're going to give up the ghost very soon, but you just never know. And, you know, you want to have that insurance over your spirit, you know, like you read about in Psalms chapter 55 or it's 55 or no, it's 51. It's 51. Right. I want to bring out something real quick. Right. Now that I got my scriptures right here, it's Psalms 51 on down. It's a, it's a beautiful prayer to throw up. So I mind you, you know, yesterday or the day before, you know, I told y'all to make sure y'all praying and going harder for the Lord. But look, though, you know, like it reads about in Psalm chapter 51, the Lord, you know, he put uh, King David in the spirit to, you know, go into the ways of asking the Lord for forgiveness, right? To repent before the Lord and, you know, to ask the Lord to basically take not the spirit away from him. You know, so through the spirit, right, you got Psalms 51 and verse 1 on down through verse 15. It's a mighty prayer. I advise y'all to throw it up. Right, and I'm gonna bring out a couple of precepts, you know, because I wanted to just come on this camera and just remind y'all, like, yo, first thing first, I'm thankful, but you gotta remember to repent daily. Re repent daily, you know what I'm saying? Because we are not perfect, you know, we covered in the blood, but then again, you know, we still gotta do our part to ask the most high, right? For you know, um, for forgiveness, you know, for that reassurance, you know, because you don't want to give up the ghost and you're not forgiven of your sins, you know. So this Psalm chapter 51 and verse 1. This is how the prayer start off. I'm not going to read it all, but you know what I'm saying? It says, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, according to thy love and kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clean when thou judgest. Right? So through the spirit and power of the Most High, right, you want to ask the Lord, right, to have mercy on you, right? Because you do not know, right? You can give up the ghost in any type of way, you know? You you just don't know. So just, just stay repentant. You know, I just had to drop this video. That Psalms 51 and verse 1 on down, they stay repentant, right? Like you read about in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48 on down, the Lord said, be ye perfect like the Most High, right? So that being said, stay repentant. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Cry unto the Most High, Right? Whatever you did in your past, right? The old man, ask the Lord to forgive that person, you know? So with that being said, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High, right? Stay on fire in this thing. I love y'all. Peace.